People tell stories about its name. Gwat Dar. Gwat for wind and Dar for door. The door of the wind in Balochi. Gwadar. This isn't the story that you normally hear about Gawadar. This is the story of the real Door of the Wind. Guys, so I'm here in Gawadar again. I'm actually here for the second time and I'm so excited to get started and start telling you all the new stories of Gawadar that I have found since my last visit. But first things first, I'm gonna make an Instagram story just about being here. So I've got good data coverage here thanks to Jazz. Hi guys, I'm here in Gawadar finally. I'm so excited to be here again. And today I'll be showing you around the city um, with a slightly different, more authentic perspective than when I was here last time. So let's get started. Now let's go and upload this thing and then we'll be on our way to discover the local authentic flavors of Gawadar itself. Upload, upload, upload. In this vlog, I want to tell you three stories about Gawadar. One about a place, one about a tradition, and one about a young changemaker. So, let's get started with the first one. The thing about Gawadar is that these days, it's most commonly known as the upcoming rising business hub of Pakistan with significant links to China. But it has its own soul too. And where better to find that soul than in a local market? I've just arrived at a local market here in Gawadar. And what I'm actually looking for is some local fabric because I've been spotting women here and there all over the place who are wearing these incredible dresses. And I think I want in on some of that action. It's little observations like this that, to me, reveal the soul and the spirit of a city, that reveal a bit about its community, about its people, how they dress, what they love, what they use every day. But back to the dresses now. I'm just in the middle of this incredible shop that has all these typical Balochi fabrics and textiles. And so many things here are just, you know, they look like they're handmade, hand embroidered. I'm not sure. But look at all these colors. It's just so beautiful. I think I want to get a dress made here. Yes, Pakistan is pretty well known internationally for some of its incredible fabrics and style and fashion. But Balochistan, not necessarily. So I myself was surprised to find out that this place has its own unique style and culture of dressing. The entire market was quite a revelation. In fact, I loved walking through it and just feeling the pulse of the city. But let's zoom out and talk about a tradition right here in the heart of Gawadar. A tradition that dates back centuries. Gawadar has always been a port city, connecting to the Gulf and to India, and even further afield. And there is one place that still reminds you of these traditions of ships, naval journeys, and far-flung places. I can pretty much guarantee that this is content you have never seen before on YouTube. We have come to one place that not many people have talked about here in Gawadar. No, this has nothing to do with business, this has nothing to do with CPEC. This is the shipyard of Gawadar, where men still make these old, beautiful, beautifully painted wooden boats right here in the heart of Pakistan's future business district. I'm gonna go and see how these boats are actually made still today. Now, this part of Gawadar may have been long forgotten, but not anymore, because I'm here to tell you the story of Gawadar's shipmakers. Just look at 
look at these planks and all the bricks in the middle between them. I mean, I feel like this is a boat in the making. It's not quite ready to be put on the water. This just shows you that these boats are actually made completely 100% by hand. This is not a factory. They don't have any heavy machinery here. So it's all handmade and hand carved by the very men who actually work here. I feel like we should go and speak to some of them, huh? Let's go. Made it. <laughs> For the men who work here, these vessels are a source of income, pride, and an art in itself. Much like the truck art of Pakistan, boat art in Pakistan is also well and truly alive. And all these boats are made 100% by hand. It takes six men eight months to make a single vessel. And even the holes are drilled by hand. They're painted to make them beautiful, to make them the queens of the sea. Whoa, look at that. So this is the place that you go to when nature calls out on the open sea but I wouldn't want to fall into the water while, you know. <laughs> Inspired by this grand, somewhat forgotten place, I decided to stay here. I had one more mission to accomplish today here in Gwadar. I wanted to speak to someone from here, someone who represents the young generation of people. Hmm. There was one person that sprung to mind pretty immediately. And at the end of my visit to Gwadar, I will be meeting up with one of the famous vloggers of Gwadar and the very first female vlogger in this very city. Now I'm sitting on a boat and waiting for her and hopefully she'll come here very soon with some local fish and seafood. That's what she promised. So let's wait for Anita. As I soon found out, a boat in the middle of the sea is probably not the best kind of meeting place. It took us a little while to find each other, but eventually she arrived. She's just arrived! <laughs> hey Anita! <laughs> oh, thank you. It's very dramatic. Hello! Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey. I'm good, how about you? Good, finally we're here! Wow, we have some food, we have the sunset, we have the boat. <laughs> Gawadar's first female vlogger, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, there are there is no other girl in the whole Makran for vlogging. Wow, yeah. okay. What gave you like the idea, the initial idea to do it? Um, I used to watch many vloggers when I was in Dubai. For two years I was working there. So when I when I was bored I used to watch vlogs. When I came back to Gwadar, um, I was really bored because I had nothing to do here. Uh, so I asked my father that I want to uh, make a video about Gwadar or my life. And of course, I knew that he will refuse. So <laughs> I had to like, uh, it, it took me three years. Three to, years? Yeah, to convince my father. <laughs> so after my fourth or fifth video, people like, they were calling me from uh, news channel that they want to interview me. I was like, why? Is it because <laughs> You are vlogging from Gwadar yeah. and you are a, like Baloch guy, yeah. it's, it's very tough. I said okay, <laughs> then this was like my journey. You know, people, uh, they actually uh, saw real Gwadar through my vlogs. What is the message that you are communicating to the world? What do you want to show to the world? I actually wanted to show, um, I still I want to show the real Gwadar. Mm -hmm. like, uh, there are many beautiful places in Balochistan. I want to discover them. Speaking with Anita, I felt that we shared a vision to show off the beauty and culture of this region. It's been a really eventful and, and beautiful day here in Gwadar. And you know, I just keep thinking that, you know, of course Gwadar is on its way to becoming this international business hub back and all of that but there is another side to go out there that's a bit more local and a bit more intimate and a side that not many people know and I think that's what we got to explore today is that 
that true authentic very authentic local side and I'm just so happy that we could make it here and that's something that we could capture you know this is probably a day that I will never forget thank you Gowater for being awesome